Hi and welcome, it's Ruth here at Artful Stampin'. Welcome to another one of my videos. It's a Monday, so we're doing a Masculine Monday stamping. So I try and do this because I know that some of you really do struggle with sort of more masculine style cards, whether they be happy birthdays or um, anniversaries or I don't know, you know, new job, whatever. And I'm not one of those people that tends to kind of go, right, let's put a golf club on it or put a football on it. Um, just because somebody might be interested in those things, it doesn't necessarily mean that they make specifically very nice design features. So I try to stay truth to myself and, you know, still be very kind of arty and designy and whatever, you know, creative in, in the stamping that I do, but yet give it a bit of a masculine twist so that's what you're going to get here so if you're new to my channel please do subscribe great to have you with me if you're watching this on the replay welcome but for you guys watching on the live great to have you with me and I thought what about because I don't think I've ever done this before what about creating a toile de jour or toile de joie toile de jour I tend to say just toile toile uh, effect paper so toile is a very traditional kind of french pattern paper and it tends to come in kind of a monochromatic it's just like one color on like a cream fabric or white fabric and i thought something like my meadow would be just absolutely perfect for it i have seen a few people do this style in that however i was just looking on pinterest and I saw this darling piece of fabric with some animals on it. And I thought, actually, you know what? Animals would look fabulous. And then it had kind of like leaves intertwining around the animals. So I'm going to attempt that first of all. See how it looks. And then if it's a hot mess, we'll start again. Because after all, everybody, it's only a piece of paper. So remember, you know, if you're practicing and stamping and you feel that it's not quite the effect you want, just turn it over. You know, the paper's not going to judge you. The only one that's probably judging you is you. And, you know, let go of that little voice in your head that says you, you can't do it. So there we go. Hello. Right. Who's on here? <gasps> New ideas, says Tabra. Love the toilet Christmas paper last year. We did love the toilet paper, didn't we? <laughs> don't you just love... Don't you just love autocorrect? It's just the best. <laughs> you know what? If if this turns out really rubbish, we could use this as a toilet paper. Oh, dear. Right, so I've got Misty Moonlight because it's just so lovely. And I'm just going to stamp... Mr. Fox there, Mr. Fox there, maybe one there, pop one down there, and we've got the gorgeous deer, and I'm running out of space maybe for him, but sorry, I'm sorry, I'm thinking two, three, four steps ahead where I'm thinking, oh, where's the rabbit going to go, so, um, pop in there. There's no rhyme or reason really to this just yet, apart from thinking, where am I going to put them all? Hi, Wendy G. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I just thought of you actually as I went live and thought, I wonder if Wendy will be here. <laughs> hey, Liz. Welcome back from your holiday. Did you have fun? I saw that you watched some of the replays. Did you notice I mentioned your name sometimes? Right, so for those of you just joining, we are attempting some toile effect pattern. So you can look it up later. It is spelled T-O-I-L-E. Oh, no, I'm going to leave this one open because I want to add some leaves. Now, I don't know whether to do Forever Fern. I don't know if that's a bit too much or actually, shall we just go for it because it's such a lovely stamp set. Shall we just do it? Hi, Linda. Great to see you. It was the octopus typing. That's it, Cindy. Blame the octopus. That's fine. <laughs> right, who else is on here? Hello, Helen. Right, Deborah, Liz, Vicky, 
Martina, Cindy, Mi Minnie. Hi, Minnie. How are you doing? Long time no see. Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie, I've sent you an email. Jackie, Wendy, Valerie. Melanie. Who have I missed out? Just shout. Oh, Janine. I just saw you there. Delinda, Faith. Okay, so with these leaves, you have to kind of like bear in mind which direction the the curve is going in. Okay, you kind of you have to go with where it's telling you to go, really. Sometimes. So let's just see how they fit in. Because what we want is these all these leaves then to kind of like go in between all the various. Animals. What's French for animal? Oh dear, it's been a while since I did French. I can tell you the I can tell you the Welsh for rabbit. Okay. Okay, like I said, I haven't really got a plan here. Right, so these two leaves, they kind of go in opposite directions, which is fabulous. So I've got a couple more spaces for my Friday class, if anyone's interested. It's on at 9pm GMT. Plus one. Because we, um, we're currently in British summertime here. And yes, that hour makes all the difference. Oh, I didn't clean my stamp. <laughs> Look. Oops. It's gradually getting more bluer, this, this stamp. Okay, so my aim is basically to kind of have leaves in between all the animals. I think I need to get a bit quicker at this, don't I? I'm rushing a little bit now, but... Um, sweep you round there, like that. And up there. Okay, so I mustn't forget, there are other stamp sets that I can use in this, because... This stamp, the Nature's Beauty one, from which the deer, the rabbit and the fox come from, has got this beautiful, more, I would say that's more toile-like. So I was kind of pushing, pushing the, stretching the design by using Forever Fern, because I would say that's not really a toile kind of effect, but I was just going to see what it was like. Right, okay, so I used the other one just a minute ago. I want to use a bit of this one because this one goes in the opposite direction. So, just pop a few of these in first. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Janice. Janice, it's a blue day for you. Janice's favourite colours are blue. Although I'm not using Midnight um, Night of Navy today. I'm using Misty Moonlight. All right, coming up there. The rabbit. Okay, I think I'm feeling a bit happy with that now. It's starting to feel a little bit fuller. So remember, this is a process that part way through what you're doing, you can sometimes think, oh my word, what have I done? Have I made the biggest mistake ever? But keep going because you have to just remember, you know, your initial vision for the piece and, and just keep going. Okay, so here is that really detailed leaf. I'm going to get you guys in a bit. Ooh. Ooh, it's a bit much. There we go. Now, I'm thinking to do this in the darker colour because I want it to show. And I'm just trying to think if there's any other leaf that we have. Ooh, we have those ones, don't we? 
right okay because my fear is because this has got a very definite curve on it it's not appropriate for every area of my design but I'm just trying to think what else could I use so I'm happy now I've realized I can use those so look this has got a definite curve so I can only use these in very kind of particular areas Can you, is that showing up? Can you see that? Hi, Mummy. She's just finished sewing some cushion covers. There we go. You having a break from the mask making, are you, Mother? This reminds me of, have you ever, I don't know if you people out there who've had children, particularly boys, who've ever had the Brio wooden track. It feels like I'm creating a train track with the Brio wooden track with this stamp because it's got that curve on it and you're thinking, ooh, how am I going to get round the bend? And <laughs> How many curves is it going to take? And Because it's got a definite curve on this stamp. Does that kind of make sense? Hi Deborah. Nice to see you. So for those of you who perhaps have been missing our Sunday services, you'll be pleased to know Tom was back at work today. So we will re be resuming our live streams next Sunday. And um, so hope to see some of you there. Right, I want to leave room for some of these other little leaves. So I've got this one here. I'm out at the park and need to get home. All right then, Deborah. Yeah, get home safe. I know, three weeks has gone by fast, yes, it has. Okay. So this design fits quite well because the, the design that I've just used is what I would call an open design. It's a line art. So... This one almost looks like a bigger version of what I've just used. So it's very appropriate. It looks very nice. So this is quite fun because it's almost like reconnecting some of the swirls that I've already put in. And I don't really want it to interfere with the animal design. So I'm trying to stay out that way. Wendy says, this is similar to pool paper I have in my bedroom with rabbits and hedgehogs. Oh. And it's quite liberating sometimes just to limit yourself to a single colour. Obviously I've got, I'm using two ink pads, I'm using two shades of blue. But um, it's actually quite nice not to have to think about all the different colours. Although I do love playing with colour. Um, sometimes it's just nice to not... Right, and then I also have this little, it's like wheat sheafy type one. So. Hi, Wendy March. Oh, we've got the three Wendy's here today. We've got Wendy G, Wendy L and Wendy M. Oh, this is a, a nifty one because it's just a little straighter than, well, it is definitely straighter than the one I just used. And you can kind of like create a sh sort of fan of them, really. 
Anyway, so obviously this is a little bit labour intensive, but I hope that what happens is that you get a really beautiful, very delicate and detailed bit of stamping that you really only do need to use sections of it for making a card. You know, I wouldn't use too much of this because it's so detailed. And let's face it, not all the men appreciate the work that's gone into these. I know some do, I know some do, but and some people really do love the outdoors and animals and nature, so this would be a perfect card for someone like that. Oh, and the Christines, we've got the Christines in as well, have we? <laughs> Fab. Okay, I'm sure you'll shout at me if I've missed some. Right, oh, that bit needs connecting, doesn't it? Cabbage bread for supper. Cabbage bread? I have never heard of cabbage bread before, Melanie. Do tell. Tell us your recipe. There were four in my class at school. Oh, wow. Four Wendy's. Yeah, in certain circles, I, I, there are times in my life where I go to an event and I am one of many roots. Um, I, I go to a ladies' conference and I think there was about five of us one year. <laughs> Lots of us. Tends, tends to be a popular name in certain circles. So I'm just looking for where I need to fill in. It's an old German recipe. So pre-cook the cabbage before you put it in the bread or do you just, I don't know, do you chop it up and just put it in the bread before you cook it? Or do you have to pre-cook pre it? Okay, so I'm just checking that there's a design going around all the animals. I think there is. And now I feel I can go back in with the lighter colour and just sort of look for sort of areas that I feel need a bit more filling. So here, there, and because it's a lighter colour, I don't mind the lighter colour if it just touches the tips of the ears of something or the legs of something, because it doesn't kind of take draw your eye. It doesn't. Not draw your eye, it doesn't clash too much, if that makes sense. Okay, must a bit, not quite sure what I think of this right now, but I'm glad I'm having a go at it. Sometimes it's good to stretch oneself. I think it needs some dots. Martina. Mm. I don't think I ever ever known a Martina. I've known of Martinas. Right, so we've got some lovely little snowfall. Oh, maybe trees actually. Maybe trees would have helped in this. Hi Sheila.
Okay, this tree is very delicate. So it's just about showing up. But it's nice to have a slightly different texture in the midst. Yeah, oh, I need an animal there, don't I? I think I'll fit a rabbit in there. That's better. Ruth is becoming popular again. Let's get to here. So, cabbage, onion, salt and pepper, chopped up and cooked till soft. Cut the frozen bread dough into four pieces. Roll into a rectangle. Strain the cabbage and place into the dough. Oh, so it's more like a... Like a... Oh, like a pasty or a dumpling, really. You don't mix it all in together. You, you have it in, encased in the dough. I'm going a bit tree happy, aren't I? I'm going to have to stop. Right, I do want some little dots, so. Eat like a sandwich. Oh, that sounds yum. Now with any delicate stamp like this dots, remember try not to twist as you bring your stamp up because it can distort. And remember the sides because once you've cut this up you want all the areas to feel loved. We think. Now there are a few little, um, there are these lovely little oak leaves, Ooh, which I've had out. Oh, where's it gone? Actually, maybe the acorns. I think acorns might look nice. I've obviously had the oak leaf out and, um, Put it back. Oh, I've got to make sure I find that later. I was having a bit of a play yesterday afternoon. I had an idea. I saw something on Pinterest and I thought, oh, I just want to try this idea out. So you'll see, you'll see the efforts. All the things that I played with in the coming week. Sometimes it's nice to hide little designs, like little um, images like this, into your design because then you know you've got it on a card. So I'm like, oh, I didn't realise there was an acorn or or whatever. Now, I do want that to show up a little bit more, I think. So, I'm inclined to stamp the... There's like the... What I call the hat and the... <laughs> the nut and the hat bit. So, I've got a solid piece that you can 
add. So these are helping to make it show up a little bit more. Hi Donny! Oh, Wendy did dotage for the first time. How was it for you Wendy? How did it go? Was it all that you dreamed it could be? Well, we always knew Wendy was a little dotty, but she got dotty. You're thinking of fairy tale book covers. Oh. Right, I think I'm done. I don't know if next time I'd actually want to be a little bit more regimented. Because I think I because I was random with the animals, it kind of threw me off a bit. So I think I'd like to maybe perhaps be a little bit more regimented. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, it's just nice to try and do something a bit different. Now the other thing I wanted to try was with the big tree, the life is beautiful, this one. So, I don't know whether just to aim for doing like a four card style one. So, so I'd aim to cut it up, you know, that way. Um, therefore, oh, I could have a tree, so I could have a tree in the middle, but, hmm. Hi, Janet in Ontario. Wondering why the men's designs are also always... Um, they don't have to be. Yeah, I have done bright colours. Yeah. It's just generally, it's a general thing. But, of course, there are always men who are exceptions to the rule, who like bright colours and, you know, like florals and all that kind of thing. So. Oh, no, I've done this the light colour. Did I want to do it the light blue? Oh well, I've done it now. Thanks, Amanda. Love that tree. This is such a lovely wispy tree, isn't it? It's great for a kind of if you want to do sort of fantasy type cards. If you didn't see the card I made for my son for his 18th, I used this tree on his card. Okay, right, so I've got those down. I think I might just put the animals in now. So I know where I'm headed. I use the top of that tree for a wreath, looks really good. Ah, good, Donny, yes. I have two, a while back now. It's, it's a good one for creating sort of twigs and things.
I think I might put a different animal in there because that tree's a bit lower down than I realised. Right, we want this to look a bit more toile like now, don't we? I wonder if we could use some of the leaves from here. So this is Life is Beautiful. Gorgeous little stamp set. Great value, I think. It's not too expensive, this stamp set at all. And I'm wondering whether to kind of create sort of like a frame of mind you we do need some leaves in the tree as well don't we but sort of just sort of framing them a little bit It's interesting because I feel like I'm, even though I've, I, in my head I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be cut up into four, I'm also enjoying using the whole of the canvas as well. It's quite fun to create this kind of sweeping arcs of shapes and things. <clears throat> Do it? Should we go for it? If I don't like it, I can always stop. Hi, Nessa. The glass in the shower cubicle exploded. Whoa. I have heard of that happening. Oh, I forgot to do stamping off. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sure if it's that effective. Maybe it is. Just makes that bower kind of look a bit thicker, doesn't it? This is sweeping slightly in the wrong direction. No, I don't want to do that. I'll go for the other one. Yes, I, I'm thinking that as well, Martina. Some smaller trees in the background. Yep. So if you've never purchased from Stampin' Up! before, it's quite easy to do so. You can follow the link to my shop in the description below. Either that or just go to stampinup.uk or stampinup.de or stampinup. Oh, what's the German one? Oh, no, I've done the German one, DE. Uh, Netherlands, I think it's NL. France is FR. And then you need to just find me as a demonstrator. So for the demonstrator finder, you just type in Ruth Trice. And make sure that you can see my name in the top to know that you're shopping with me. And I have a current host code. So if you go to artfulstampin.co.uk, the current host code is there. So use the host code if you're going to be spending anything from £5 up to £149.99 because then I will send you a thank you card and a voucher the following month that you can then spend on any current Stampin' Up! products. Uh, 
Okay, so. Mm, I'm thinking, though, it needs to be a light colour because it's in the background, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I'm sure you'll have something similar, Vicky. Ooh, I'm not quite sure where this tree should go now. Had it been installed long, Vanessa? Oh yeah, I bet it did. Right, there's some other little trees. Well, there's grass and then there's these kind of like twiggy things and these other trees. So you're quite spoilt for choice actually with this stamp set for Some really gorgeous imagery. Mm, no, I want to flip over now to this one. See the twiggy things. I feel that they come out from more the foreground. I just that's my feeling with these. Oh, I would love Stampin' Up available in Denmark. Oh. Well, if you have friends in the European countries that they deal with and who are happy to place an order for you, then that's the only way I can suggest if you live outside of those countries for you to get hold of them. Because you have to have an address in that country for it to be sent to. And that the order has to be processed via there. What that person then does with that order is up to them, but... Um, Yeah, it is a little bit frustrating. That's better, I like that now. Okay, and then there are these adorable little, bit, adorable little blades of grass. They just help to ground things. <laughs> Someone's making great. I did do a one sheet wonder the other day, a Christmas one. Yep. Hi, telegraphs. Okay, so I like to add the grass to the sides of these animals because the design of them ha have like this little line here where the ground would be. And so that's great because it grounds the animal, but then it stops. So the blades of grass are really good for kind of disguising where that hill or hillock or whatever has kind of stopped. So that's why I like to use these. I'll just add quite a few on there. You could even put them at the base of your tree as well to ground the tree so it doesn't look like it's floating. I'm floating in the air. You don't want your trees floating. I'm quite happy with that, I think. I think I might just add a little bit of dotage. Dark colour. Just to add a bit of texture to the tree. Now these dots are actually dots, outline dots, so they give a whole different kind of texture. Thanks, never saw that on the stamp. What, that little leaf? Uh, grass. Oh, it's fab. See, come to me and I will show you stamps that you've never thought you'd ever use. <laughs> Esther's quite good at that as well. So if you don't follow Stampin' Star Creations, that's my sister Esther. She also is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. 
and she she makes great use of stamps. Right, there we go guys. I I think I am at, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can go for one more. I might be able to stretch to one more. I'm feeling a little bit weary tonight. So I've got that one and that one. So with this one, my idea would be to cut that into four. This one would be very much to use sections of it and just hope I don't decapitate a poor little animal while I do it. So, um, I haven't ended up using my meadow, have I? I think I'll save that for another night, guys, because I fear that I'm, I'm a bit too tired and I'm just going to make a mess, really. So I'm going to leave it there, leave it on a high, as they say. And, yeah, please do have a go yourself. Um, you don't necessarily have to use animal stamps, just, you know, leafy ones, tree ones. Also scenic stamping. So if you want to have a look into this design yourself, look up Toile, T-O-I-L-E, and on Pinterest. And there's lots of different examples of it. And it basically just means kind of choosing one colour. So obviously I've chosen Seaside Spray and Misty Moonlight. That's what I used. That's what I used today. But traditionally it comes in, you know, red, green, blue, black, you know, all sorts of colours. But just that one, you know. So, um... I'll give you a sneaky peek of what I'm planning to do with you tomorrow. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's it. That's all I'm showing you. So if you want to stamp along with me tomorrow and you have a beautiful friendship, then get your stamp sets at the ready. And Now, the colours I've used are the colours that the Stampin' Up Colour Challenge Facebook group have put up for this month. And they are Magenta Madness, Coastal Cabana, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody. I think that was it. One, two. Yeah, I think that was it. I'll double check for tomorrow. Uh, but you, you can choose whatever colours you want. And if you have lots of leaves, then possibly a bit of lots of leaves. Although I mm, might not use that so much tomorrow. Because that's what I'm filming my, um, my August thank you video is about to go out. And I started filming it the other day and then... <laughs> I, st I was set, set part way through my second sheet of stamping and I looked up the phone and it was on 1% and I've, I've looked back and it's missed out a whole section of my fil filming. So I'm going to have to just show you what it was and then maybe film a second sheet as well because, yeah, never mind. Anyway, so for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, basically if you shop with me or you support my channel or you uh, attend a class in August, sorry, in, in any month, I film an exclusive video that goes to all my customers, supporters, team. If you're in my team, you get it as well. So it's just an additional little bit of inspiration for you. So there we go. Right, um, I have two places left as far as I know for my Zoom class on Friday at 9 o'clock it's class 2 you will need to have shimmer white card stock if you want to attend it because the results won't be the same if you don't use shimmer white so um, if you want to attend it but you want to wait until you get that in stock that's fine I will put another class on but you need shimmer white card stock ideally you need a heat tool you need some kind of waterproof covering um, ideally the Stampin' Up silicon mat as well, if you've got that, or if if you know if you've if you've only got a bit of plastic or a bit of plastic bag, that'll do. Uh, a mop cloth, so a piece of fabric, towel, a paper towel, and a spritzer, and stamps and ink. 
okay so I have got two places left for that it's 9 p.m. on Friday my time so if you take whatever time it is now minus two hours that is the time it will be okay right oh no you fell in the garden oh Liz oh 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 yes they are fab colors yes um, this month's we have to council workers ripping the tar oh Julie oh not nice thank you Christine I think the rabbit is already scared you might decapitate it <laughs> I know he's like he's got his eye on me um, hi at Motley Arts love the second one as well oh, oh gosh yes I'm sorry about all your fires and you guys in the States, horrible. Oh my goodness. Gosh, it was only a few months ago. Gosh, the whole Australia fires thing was happening, wasn't it? Yeah, mad. Take care, Wendy. Sleep well. Know the line on, know the, line on the animals. What do you mean, Donny? Right, if I've missed any questions, please just put them in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you're watching on the replay, if you've got questions, please do have them. Let me know which one is your favourite, one or two. And it's so, you know, I'm not offended if you prefer one of the over the other. I think I prefer this one because I you almost need to just play with the design and play with the the scale of things to kind of work it out. So. You know, just as you, you know, you may do one piece and go, oh, I'm not sure about it. I do that too. I, I, you know, even on the lives, I go, oh, I'm not sure. So this piece is the one that hasn't worked for me so well, but it's fine. I can cut it up and use little pieces of it. That'll be fine. On the other side of the animal, says Donny, a line. Go back to your previous comment. Know the line, Donnie. You might have to put that in a comment to me because I'm not quite getting getting it through. Right, lots of love to you all, everybody, and see you, God willing, tomorrow. Okay, with beautiful friendship if you have it. I know a few of you got it. <laughs> Actually, I think I know less people who haven't got it. Does that make sense? More people who haven't got it than haven't got it. Yeah. Oh, the line to show the ground. Yes. Yeah, that is the problem. There is a line there. On here. Yeah. I suppose we could with a pen if you wanted to carry that line across. Um, you could do but yeah I could probably go in back into these ones and do a bit of stamping with the grass couldn't I now you've said it now Donny I'm going to want to do it take care Melanie nice to see you Let's see oh see Donny was watching me oh look that's so much better now isn't it Okay, happy bunny now. And the bunny's happy as well because it's got grass to eat. See? Yes, Vanessa lost her nature's beauty and found it under the filing cabinet. Poor stamp set. Thought you weren't coming back for it. How's the packing going, Vanessa? Or have you found somewhere to move? Oh, look, see. Johnny's got me stamping again now. You got me stamping. You got me stamping. I'm thinking of that stunt that goes, You got me, no, you drive me crazy. Oh, I don't know. There's a song, isn't there? I wonder if it could fit the words, You got me stamping. There we go. I did get very Versailles, says Wendy. Oh, you haven't got beautiful friendship. You might have to have it for your next birthday. 
animals won't walk about. They did. Yeah. They've come back in time for the Australian winter. <laughs> right. Lovely to see you all. Take care. God bless.